When you're broken Path of Exile, you're often a lot wealthier than you think. The reason for this is you're often wealthy through bubblegum currencies, a bunch of small items that individually don't seem to have that much value, but when you add up together all of them that you have, it's worth way more than you'd think. Now, if you have a bunch of these currencies and you want to sell them all at once, TFT's bulk trade tool, which will be linked down below, is a great way to do it. It's also a great way to see just how much wealth you have, even if you think you're broke. If an exalt drops in your map, there's a pretty good chance you're going to remember that. But what about a medium or high value div card? Well, the card might be something fairly obscure that you don't immediately recognize. Or it could be something relatively mundane like the patient, which you might remember to put it in your stash and sell it. Or shortly after it drops, you might just completely forget because it's a fairly mundane item. They're worth a good amount of money, but not a fortune. There's several times where I've gotten a patient drop or several other things, and then it's been mixed in with all the other junk that I picked up in the map, and it ends up in my div card tab. So today, I'm going to be putting my div card tab into TFT's bulk trade tool to see what might be hiding there that I didn't think of originally, or that maybe I didn't even know I had. You can do this for yourself by going to the website, just authorizing it so that it can see your stash tabs, and from there, you select a tab and you select what sorts of items that you want to pull from it. In this case, div cards, because that's the only thing in the div card tab. And it looks like I have about 13 exalts and random things, most of which is a beauty through ice, which I didn't even know I had. I'm sure it made a very big shiny sound on my loot filter, I'm also pretty sure I went, oh, I wonder if that's good. I'll price check that later because it's a fairly rare card. And then I completely forgot about it. There's also a bunch of Hoarder, Saint's Treasure, even some Abandoned Wealth, which is kind of an analogy for this entire tab. And of course, if I scroll down enough, there will be the patient that got mixed in with everything else. This is an example where if you went through and tried to price each individual div card, there's hundreds of cards in that tab. It's going to be a long, tedious task that's going to leave you feeling very poor. If you can bulk price it, you'll immediately see what's worth your time and what you can probably just ignore. I also have a couple of best practices when it comes to pricing items and collecting wealth in Path of Exile, or maybe realizing the wealth that you have. But before that, as a quick reminder, if you found this video to be helpful, be sure to leave a like on the video, as that really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you like Path of Exile content, sub to the channel and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload. On the other hand, if you like general gaming, or maybe just play other games that aren't Path of Exile, where I'm going to be putting a lot more content in the upcoming weeks. And finally, if you did find anything interesting, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you found and how much it was worth. But for now, here are a few best practices that I found to be helpful when it comes to remembering that I have things, especially when it comes to things that might not have that much value individually. The first and biggest tip is check the entire tab with a TFT bulk tool. This is especially helpful for divination cards, essences, oils, anything where it kind of piles up and you can easily sell the ones you don't plan to imminently use. Now, another tip is that it's actually okay to let things pile up. Very often items like this are difficult to sell individually, but when you sell them in bulk, you'll often get a better deal. You might be able to sell an essence for nine chaos each. And right now, exalts are 175 chaos each. But you could also sell that essence at 10 to an exalt. You're effectively getting 17 chaos for a 9 chaos essence just because you are a little patient and you let a bunch of them pile up. Now, there's obviously a middle ground. You shouldn't go the entire league without selling things. If you need the money, then obviously sell things when you have to. But if you don't need the money immediately, keep in mind that there's going to be a store of wealth in these tabs that you can allow to passively accumulate. Another tip is don't be the cheapest price if you're going to list them on the PoE trade site. These are very commonly traded items, and there's a lot of bots which will automatically buy the cheapest item. So if you're the cheapest, you're going to get spammed, you're probably going to have to go into D&D, and it's going to be a bad time. If you go a couple listings down, you're not the absolute cheapest, but you're not significantly more expensive than the cheapest. There's a good chance a player will be looking for what you want to sell, they'll message you to buy it, and you won't get spammed nearly as badly. And speaking of listing items, beware of offers the second you list site. If you put your entire div card tab to public, and someone immediately messages you for a card that you haven't priced yet, and they say, it's worth 15c, but because you have three of them, I'll give you 20, be sure to price check that. And be sure to look past the first couple listings. Div cards are very often price manipulated, where people will post a fake listing and then message someone to try to buy items to make a profit off of them. That card could be worth two or three exalts, and they're just trying to rip you off. On the other hand, maybe they're just trying to complete a set and they want to buy in bulk and they're willing to overpay. 
Not everyone's out to scam you, but an honest buyer will be perfectly happy to trade for your item after you take a minute to verify the price. A scammer is likely to be less patient as they're going to move on to their next victim. You're richer than you think in Path of Exile, and hopefully this video has given you a little insight into some of the sources of wealth that you have and might not be properly leveraging. TFT's bulk tool isn't always perfectly accurate in terms of our prices, it's certainly good enough, and if you're going to sell an entire tab, it's definitely good enough, because if you're off by a little bit on one or two items, you're still making a lot more money by selling them all at once in a single trade, but if you're going to be taking the cards out manually, parceling it up yourself, and doing all the little trades, be sure to do a little price checking before you do, just so you make sure you get the right profit, as sometimes the prices on Pewee Ninja don't accurately reflect the item, again people love to price manipulate, especially div cards. But I hope you found that helpful, and again, if you found any cool items hidden away in a stash tab that you weren't aware of, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down in the comments below, or join the Discord where you can ask questions, get build help, and hang out with the community. A special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. They're awesome, and they get to show it by having their name on screen in the credits of all my videos. So if you want to see your name here, be sure to check the link in the description. For more general gaming content, check out my second channel, 10 Gaming Thoughts, and if you want a water bottle or a cool shirt, I have a link to my official merch shop in the description. I hope you learned something today, and I hope to see you again sometime soon.